Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about uh, one of my books. It's called uh, Amelia's Adventures. It's six by nine, and it's a story about a girl. Well, let's see. I wrote this book many years ago. It was actually written about my sister. My sister's name is Parasquevi. And my other sister's name is Varvara. I also have a, a dedication about them in the book, actually. For my sister Parasquevi and Barbara Sofia Margarita, who will always be the greatest princesses in my life. And how did I start writing this book? I am a ferocious reader. I like to read a lot. I have read many books throughout my years, let's say. Uh, and I have experienced things through reading that really fascinate me and I really believe in what Tyrion says in Game of Thrones that a reader lives many lives and as a reader I have experienced that I have been to the Middle Ages, I have been in Ancient Greece, I have been in Second World War, I have been in Narnia, I have been in Middle Earth, I have been in Hogwarts, I have been in many places, I have experienced many things, I have seen many different kind of views, I have met thousands of people, and I have always had this uh, sad feeling for people who don't read books, especially my sister. So I was, I was thinking of a way to help her or make her in a way, in a nice way, read a book and I was thinking well I am her I am her brother so if I write something about her maybe she will read it and I was also thinking what would a girl her age would like to read she was I think she was like 11 when I wrote the book so uh, I paid attention to what she was watching she was watching shows with princes and princesses and castles and magic and I thought, yeah, I could do that, and I really like the fantasy world, so I could make a character that she would be a princess, she would be very beautiful, she would have a lot of things, because girls like a lot of things, don't they? And so I started writing. And at first I only wanted to write like 50 pages, I didn't want it to be too overwhelming for my sister who, who didn't really like to read. But as I kept writing, the story uh, was developing in my head without me even trying. I mean, it started like a like a small story, and it ended up like a, a little short story. It's 224 pages long, and um, the story goes like this. There is a very beautiful princess called Amelia. She lives in a peaceful uh, kingdom filled with goods and she has amazing parents. Everything is very prosperous. Um, everything is nice and great, but there is a problem. The princess is not happy. She loves her parents. Her parents love her. She has their attention. Uh, everything is fine, but she's not really happy. Why is that? As, uh, a royal as royalty, she has to live by certain rules. She has to be in the palace. She has to behave well. Um, the other children in the court don't see her as a friend, but rather as the future queen, let's say. She's a princess, so they talk to her with courtesy. They, they don't really approach her much, so she feels like excluded, she feels like she's trapped in a golden palace, let's say, in a golden cage, and she doesn't like that, that makes her sad because she doesn't have real friends. Um, as a kid, her mom used to read her books and stories before she went to bed, and uh, she, has al she has always wanted to experience um, stories and adventures like the one she used to uh, hear when she was a kid. So that men with witches and dragons and valiant knights. Uh, she knew that all this would be were just myths, were just fairy tales, it weren't true. But 
Nonetheless, she wanted to experience something like that on her own. I mean, without the restrictions of the palace, without the constant daily routine that made her feel very bored and very not alive. So she um, started, she, she made a plan and she managed to escape the kingdom. She managed to escape um, the palace, but I'm not going to say what happens next. But I am going to say that it's a very adventurous book. It's not hard to follow. It's made for children. It's uh, best for children between 6 and 12, I would say. Yeah. It's not very complicated, as I've already said. It's easy reading. It's uh, very fast-paced. And it's very interesting. I want to share with you um, another fact about this book. I first wrote it in, in, in Greek and then I started translating it in English and for me it has been like the hardest thing to do ever because even though it's my book so I owned every word of it and I knew the story and I had it in my head I found it very difficult to translate from one language to another because as I always say you don't translate word to word you also have to translate meanings at times because I like to play with words and sometimes that pun doesn't translate into another language so you have to change it a little bit but it was actually a very nice experience uh, one that I wouldn't like to do <laughs> again though to be honest so since then since I, since I finished translating this book whenever I write something I try to write it in English my English is not awesome but I found it much easier to write something and then correct it in in English than to f write something in Greek and then having to to translate it and do the corrections like double, triple, quadruple work, which is very very difficult. And now I I admire and salute the translators of books. You do a great job. And uh, so that's it. So if you're interested in a story. A perfect story about young girls please uh, check this book check my book it's called Amelia's Adventures you can find it in Amazon you can find it in many places please check it out and that is my name check it whoever read the book uh, gave me good reviews which is always a very nice thing so you can find it in physical form, but you can also find it in digital form for uh, from Kindle or from uh, for your phone, for your computer, whichever you like. It would be very cool if you try if you read the book and leave a comment. I'm open to suggestions. I'm um, I like to connect with my readers. It's it's nice connecting with your readers. So thank you for for watching. Please. If you buy the book, or if you're interested, you can share your comment below. I will talk with you, and uh, take care.